Welcome back everybody to my office as we are on the cusp of what is undeniably and unquestionably the most sacred and poetic moment in Jewish life. We now are soon to observe Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement. And it is the most gut-wrenching, powerful, painful, inspiring moment in the Jewish calendar. Because once a year we are called to confront the people that we are, as opposed to the people that we really want to be. So the question I have for you is this. Why do we have Yom Kippur on an annual basis? Now, I'm not suggesting that we should do it more than once a year. What I am suggesting is, why don't we have it once a year? Maybe once every two years, or three years, or four years, or five years. Why is it that Jewish tradition saw to it that it would be institutionalized on an annual basis? And so to help explain the answer, I want to share with you a little story, and it goes like this. It is the story of two boys who are walking in a field on a bright, bright, sunny, beautiful day. They're exploring the field and they come across an underground cellar. One boy goes down into the dark cellar, his friend follows. And as a friend is coming down the stairs, he begins to scream. His friend says, why are you screaming? And the boy says, because it's dark and I can't see. To which the other boy says, if you wait a few moments, your eyes will adjust to the darkness. And the other boy says, that's exactly what I'm afraid of. The late Lubavitcher Rebbe used to tell this story all the time as a way of explaining and illustrating what is most dangerous about human life. And that is that we will become accustomed to the darkness in our life. Yom Kippur comes on an annual basis so that our eyes, our souls, that we never become so comfortable with the darkness. Light, spiritual light, love and kindness and compassion. Those are the instrumental tools that we use to make sure the darkness never comes too close to us for too long. We have Yom Kippur on an annual basis to remind us of what George Bernard Shaw said so beautifully a hundred years ago, that some people wish and accept the things as they are, but I hope for the things as they should be. And that is the Jewish answer to that as well hoping for the people that we should be. Shana Tovah.